That's my thing good. Oh shit. Damn. At least you aren't too heavily punished for falling down. What is it? Is somebody tickling the gar garage girl somewhere? I don't get it. What's that noise? Oh, armor. Oh, gimps. Seriously, if any of you have a better idea what the hell those are, I'd love to hear it because I certainly can't think of what they are. Except gimps with dreadlocks. Orange dreadlocks. I mean, does that even exist in real life? I know dreadlocks do. But the orange dreadlocks? I can I can I really can't see it. These long carroty things. I, I, that's what I meant it would look like. Ah yes, the ever-present decay and destruction. Pretty much the only recurring theme I noticed. So yes. Oh, they're coming. Yeah, I think this was an observatory. I'm not sure. Gimps! Hi! Oh, you're coming from over there too. Let me step back a moment so I can really grasp the situation. <laughs> hey. Go away. Take this. I mean, sure, as I said before, you can really pick and choose the weapons, but the weapons have their pros and cons. And you really shouldn't fire a grenade at someone that's right in front of you. Well, that's common sense, really. This isn't like, this enemy can only be defeated properly with this weapon. And the weapon works fine. You just have to fire them a little differently, depending on how they are. For example, you can't fire the stake gun as much as the shotgun. So you need to keep your distance to ensure you aren't hurt in between shots. This one you can just press and press and press and just butcher them. But it's not so good over distance. The sh lightning shuriken gun has an impressive distance and precision, but does less damage, as far as I noticed. And the painkiller does good damage, but requires you most of the time to be out, be really precise, or really up close. And trust me, I'm not good at either of those things. A damage! But luckily, I not, don't have to rely on it, because, hey, I rarely run out of ammo. Alright. And then I'll take care of the rest of you. With my mighty something power. I don't know what this is. I just go BESERT! Let me give you a spanking gimps! <laughs> Where are you? Come here! I'm gonna break you! <laughs> this is the end of you. And this is the end of the level! Okay, I can't be about to pick up those, so it's not like we can... Okay, please tell me I got all the secrets, please. That was many monsters. Three out of six?! My god! Hey, YouTubers, if you happen to know where the rest of these secrets are, could you let me in on it, please? And if you do, I'll show them off in the next video. In fact, as I mentioned before, I still want that glowy cross from level 1, the one on the crypt thing, I just thought it was decoration, but I found out it was an item. Two, I still need to destroy all the items in level 2, that's um, atrium. In level 4, the cathedral, I still need to find that much money as needed. I think I got all the other cards, except the one of these. So if you can tell me how to get those things, 
I'll do some extra videos detailing me getting them. Mm -hmm. You like that? Good. Then post it in the comments and I'll do it. Because I certainly couldn't do it. Maybe I'll go back and do it myself without your help. But if you want to help me, I would be appreciated. This has been Eric Cobra, signing off from the... Well, I still suspect it's Swiss Mountains, but I'm not sure. Bye!